So then, what are we going to do today? <laughs> Get rabbits from the hole. Yeah. We're going to try and call some rabbits out of their holes. Using a mirror and polystyrene. Yeah, using a mirror and polystyrene to create a squeaking noise. Rabbit sets are on that bank side. Behind me there, we're not really very well camouflaged. As you can see, no hats, shiny baldy head. First thing the rabbits are going to do when we get anywhere near, dive down the holes. So we're hoping that we can call them back out. Basically, yeah. <laughs> we're just going to be approaching that set in full view of the rabbits. If anything's sitting out, they're just going to dive straight down the holes. Right, they've gone down there. We've just walked straight up to that rabbit set. It's just in line with the telegraph pole there. It's about 25 yards away, which would be a decent distance for getting a good picture or a good shot with an air rifle or just getting close enough to observe the rabbits. So we're going to give it maybe a minute or so of silence and then we'll try squeaking the rabbits out. And here's what we're going to use. We're going to use the screen of a mobile phone and a little bit of polystyrene. We're going to wet this with spit and drag the polystyrene over there to create a squeaking noise. And then we'll see what happens with that rabbit set. Right, Freya's going to go first. She's basically just going to go squeak, 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 like that. And we'll see if anything pops out. I hope there's one. Now you'll notice when the rabbit took a real interest there the squeaking sounded different. That's because we weren't using the polystyrene and the phone. I was actually making that sound with my lips and I'll show you how to do that. Best using that finger. Wet it with a bit of spit. Put your lips on like that and suck with long hard sucks like this. Yeah, it doesn't look very good but it sounds good. What that does, it mimics the sound of a young rabbit being attacked by a stoat or a weasel or even a fox or something. It's its death cries. And the rabbits like to come out and take a look. They like to see what the potential threat is. This technique works at all times of the year. When you're shooting, you can shoot all the way around the valley. If you see a big set, or the rabbits might dive in, or you might shoot them outside the set. Once they're gone, leave it a few minutes, squeak, they come straight back out. It's a nasty trick, but it works. Obviously, if you're a shooter, this technique is invaluable. I used to shoot all the time, I've still got my rifles, but nowadays I do most of my shooting with a video camera. And that rabbit's actually still sitting out behind us there. We're only about 25 yards away. We're not in camouflage gear. The wind is blowing from us to the hole, but it's still interested because it's heard that sound. Now when you're making the squeaking noise to bring the rabbits back out of the holes, it doesn't need to be very loud. Because the shape of the rabbit hole is basically like a huge funnel, it channels the noise all the way down the hole, so even if the rabbit's sitting way down in that set, it's going to hear noises from 50, 60 yards away, no problem at all. 
Now this technique is awesome for attracting predators as well. So if you want to see a stoat, a weasel, a fox, all sorts of birds of prey, if you want to see them close, get yourself hidden, ideally downwind of where they are, squeak and they will come straight to you. If you've liked the video, click thumbs up, check out my other videos, there's hundreds of them, and subscribe for more. Thank you very much for watching, catch you next time. Doing that at the end. Where is the off button? Now then, got a little bonus here. We're just walking back from the field, and both the kids walked straight past this. There we've got a female mallard sitting on eggs in a nest right next to our pond. Very good. Now James is going to give it a go. That's it, just on that. I don't want to touch it. So your lips are just open. It's like you're kissing your girlfriend. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. <laughs> you, you try then, Freya. Yeah. No, that's that's about it. Lips a little bit closer together and tiny little gap. That would work. This technique. No, this tech. tech no, like, <laughs> My name is Nook. <laughs> Put that in the bloppers. In the bloppers? <laughs> what the hell's a blopper? Now, this technique is. Now, this technique is. Oh, man. Obviously, if you're a shooter, this technique is invaluable. I used to shoot all the time, I've still got my rifles, but nowadays I do most of my shooting with a video camera and I like it that way. I'm not really into shooting so much now. <laughs> it's not evil. What do you mean? Mario! <laughs> I can't do it. Angus eating the fly. Yeah, Angus is evil. He's gone inside. He's a demon in cat form. Well, I hope you found this video useful. We've proved that we can call rabbits out of a hole in possibly the worst conditions that you can, with wind blowing from us to them, making noise and producing plenty of smells. Dad! <laughs> Wasn't me.